Hi everyone, we are going to talk about engagement of the head and what do we mean when we say the head is in syncretism or a syncretism. So let's get started. What I've drawn out here is a fetal head which is descending through the pelvis. This is the symphysis pubis and this is the sacrum and this is a, a point roughly midway between the symphysis pubis and the sacrum that is the front and the back of the pelvis. We say that engagement has taken place when the widest diameter of the presenting part has passed through the inlet. Now in cephalic presentation the biparietal diameter is the widest diameter while if you're talking about breech presentation it is the intertrochanteric diameter. Now if uh, the baby has not engaged then what has happened is either the head is floating or it is dipping that is uh, not engaged but almost engaged. Now syncletism is when the biparietal diameter of the fetal head is parallel to the planes of the pelvis. The sagittal uh, diameter, this is the sagittal diameter and as you can see it is um, roughly midway between the symphysis pubis and the sacrum. When this does not occur, the head is known to be in a uh, syncletism and this usually happens when the um, when there is a lateral uh, flexion or a deflection of the head to um, move to a more anterior or a more posterior position in the pelvis. Now posterior uh, syncretism is um, in which the, um, the sagittal suture lies closer to the pubic symphysis and uh, then uh, when you um, uh, do a vaginal examination to palpate for the presenting part, the posterior parietal bone uh, presents. Now you must be thinking that, hey, how can there be a posterior and an anterior parietal bone? Like there are two parietal bones, I agree, and they're kind of both posterior according to the fetal head. But this time we're not talking about the fetal head. We are talking about the mother. And in the mother, the sacrum is anterior and the, uh, I mean, sorry, the pubis is anterior and the sacrum is posterior, right? So the parietal bone which is presenting is more posterior than anterior, right? So we call it um, posterior uh, syncretism. And as you can see, the sagittal bone is more nearer to the pubis uh, this would be the midway between the pubis and the sacrum and it is more towards the pubis now um, it is uh, it has a lot of p's you know p for pubis and p for posterior pubic bone and p for posterior uh, syncletism so it's very easy to remember this um, in case you forget in anterior uh, syncretism, the um, anterior parietal bone presents and the sagittal suture is closer or you know approaching the sacrum. It is not midway between the pubis and the sacrum again. It is approaching the um, sacrum more than the pubis. And uh, when um, you can feel the anterior parietal bone and you will find that the post uh, the sagittal suture is in the posterior position of the mother's pelvis so this is known as anterior uh, syncletism um, how um, during um, engagement and descent of the head um, there can be a posterior and a lateral flexion of the head in case of a posterior syncretism so that the head comes to glide on the anterior parietal bone like uh, um, it's like the, an the anterior parietal bone will glide past the pubis symphysis and um, it will come into uh, syncletism like earlier shown. Uh, similarly, in anterior uh, syncletism, uh, 
there there'll be anterior lateral flexion of the head and um, the head should come in syncretism so um that's all i hope you had fun learning and um stay awesome